This is the Potomac Canal, which is a precursor to the CNO Canal. This one was started by George Washington, and its purpose was basically they were using the um, the river for moving uh, produce, but they needed some way to get around uh, Great Falls, so that's what the whole point of the Potomac Canal was. And here's the high water marks here at Great Falls. 1936, 72, I remember that one. That was Isabel, I think. 37, before my time, 96, um, maybe 95. Anyway, this is a long way from where the river is now. And you can imagine how deep that was. We're walking on a some kind of crazy path. See, we're a little off trail right now. I can see the blue blaze over there. I keep trying to steer clear of other dogs, but they've actually been pretty good. They only barked at one, and I'm not sure why they didn't like that one, but. Most of the other ones they've just ignored. Mather Gorge. I so do not like having to hold on to the leash when we're walking through the woods like this. One of them wants to go around the tree one way, one wants to go the other way. One needs to pee, the other wants to go. It's a lot of work. I prefer the less crowded paths, although, in all honesty, I would keep them on a leash here because I'm pretty sure they'd both go running off and fall over the cliff into the river, and that would be the end of them. This place is very crowded for being, um, what is it, Wednesday? I was actually very surprised. And what's next on the list? Wayne's Lock, Lock number 21 on the CNO Canal. There's the water in this part of the canal. Like maybe in both directions for a while. You can actually rent that cottage and stay there. I don't know whether it's like overnight or long term but you can 
So as I said, this is Swain's Lock. And we're going to walk north for a little bit. And there's a campground down there. It's the river. It's pretty nice down there. I can't remember, I know one of the locks you used to be able to rent canoes and I don't know whether that's south of here or north of here. I could have pulled over a number of times on Georgetown Pike because you would not believe the humongous, hideous houses that have gone up along that road. I mean, they must be huge. There was one that looked like the White House. I mean, it was painted white and had the portico and the whole ball of wax. But, I mean, some of them were just, oh my God. They might be huge, but they were ugly as sin. Oh, a bike's coming, so I gotta get the dogs. Talk to you later.